Hey guys, what's going on? So today we're going to be introducing a new playlist that's going to come out soon. This is probably going to be one of the bigger topics that I want to go over in advanced physics. And this topic is Chern-Simmons theory. So we're just going to introduce this today and then probably within the next few weeks we're going to actually jump into this. Um, so churn simmons theory, I'm just going to introduce it a little bit, very, very sort of glossy introduction. I don't want to get too deep into the math of things yet because there's going to be a lot to this. churn simmons theory, Simmons theory. What Chern-Simmons Chern -Simmons theory is, it's a theory that develops an action, okay? And this action is fundamentally uh, topological in nature, okay? So we're going to have to cover topology. Topology is a big thing. It's a very interesting thing. And so we're going to go over it in some, quite some detail. We're going to go over algebraic topology, because this is something that we have to know uh, if we really want to understand this kind of thing. So let's I'll reduce the thickness of my pen here. So algebra, algebraic, algebraic topology. And we also need to go over differential forms, and so we're going to cover differential forms as well. Differential, I think it's TIAL, differential forms. Okay. So these are really the two things that we really, really need to understand. We need to understand topology. We need to understand differential forms. The reason we need to understand these things is because churn simmons theory is something, is, is called, it's a topological field theory. And this is what I want to cover just for maybe five, six minutes here before we actually dive into the topic. Uh, again, this churn simmons theory, we're going to start it next week. It's going to be uh, coming out every, probably every Thursday. Um, and so with that being, so let's just continue here for a second. So the idea here is that, um, uh, it's a topological field theory and the way I sort of like to, uh, explain topology in a very layman's terms, and I'm going to try to really flesh out this theory in layman's terms because it's one of the more advanced theories in physics. You need to have like everything as a prerequisite. Um, what you need, so, so the idea here is imagine you have a picture, imagine you have a photo. So you have a photo of, I don't know, some person. Okay, there's a photo of the person. And you can take a ruler, you can take a ruler and you can measure the distance of his arm, for example. You can measure the distance of his head. Okay, you can measure you can measure the dimensions of the photo itself, right? Now, suppose, okay, so all these things that you're measuring, they depend on you having a ruler, okay? Now, suppose, for example, we have the same photo. Let's see, I think I can copy this. We have a copy of the same photo. So copy, paste, and let's get rid of the rulers let's get, and but now let's punch a hole let's punch a hole and I'll use the hole punch as purple suppose I punch a hole here in the photo suppose I punch a hole here in the photo and a hole here in the photo The idea here is that, well, you can measure the distances between holes with a ruler, 
But the number of holes you can just look at and be like, oh, I know how many holes there are in this photo. There's three. So the number of holes in the photo, so the number of holes in the photo is a topological It's a topological feature of the photo. So, and the reason it's a topological feature of the photo is because you don't need a ruler to measure how many holes there are. Let's think of some other topological features of the photo. Um, how about the number of edges? The number of edges. That's a topological feature of the photo. The number of sides, or not edges. I was also coloring those in, I said edges, but those are vertices. But the number of sides as well is a topological feature of the photo. Um, so topology really is not it's not super, it's not difficult to understand. It's just a new way of thinking about things. Now, let's, let's take a look now at another sort of thought experiment. This thought experiment is, okay, suppose you're in a forest. So suppose you're in a forest and this forest contains paths. Suppose our paths look like this. And then you're here. You're here and you want to get here. Uh, this is the this is your initial position. And you want to get to the final position, which is the other end of the forest. Okay. And in the forest there you have trees, all right? So in the forest you have trees. And the number of trees, there's a tree here. I suppose there's a tree right here. What I should have done is not draw the paths. Let's not draw the paths. Let's, you can, Let's not draw the paths and let's just draw the trees. Suppose there's a tree here, suppose there's a tree here and a tree here, a tree here and a tree here. Um, let's color in the, let's color these in. And then we have, these are our trees. And the goal, your goal is to get from the start of the forest to the other end of the forest. Now, one way you can do this, if you're just looking at, you, if you're just you and you're looking at how to get through here, is you could say, well, I can, I can go, I can do this. I, that could be one potential path. I could do this. I can do this. I can do this. There's so many paths you can take to get through the forest, okay? And from your perspective, you're looking at this and you're thinking, okay, okay, I just have to avoid the trees and I'll eventually get to this, the other end of the forest. The top, so the dynamics here, a lot of the dynamics is gonna be based off of um, the distance you travel from uh, where's my pointer? From here to here, okay? And you can think of an action as being the shortest path to take from here to here. The question here becomes, how can we define the action? Well, one way you can define the action is through all the, through all the, um, the, the through this path and growth, if you will. This path, this, you integrate over all the paths and 
There's different ways of weights on the path. Another way of doing this is to say, well, how many trees are there? That's a weird way of thinking about this, but okay, in our situation, we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven trees. That's an invariant feature of the forest. Take away the fact that trees die and they fall over and stuff. Just statically think for a second. Okay, there's um, seven. There's seven trees in this forest. <laughs> Not a huge forest, but you could think of it as a topological feature of the forest. Okay, and. What we're going to come across are diagrams that sort of look like this. We're going to come across diagrams that look like, okay, you have a, a final state and you have an initial state. And then to get from the final state to the initial state, uh, you have these holes in the states. You have these holes in the states and the number of holes in the final or in the initial and final state, uh, the number of holes is going to tell you something about the topology of uh, the space that the, the space that you're in, the, the initial space and the final space. Um, and these are often going to be associated with various types of. Um, uh, in physics, it's going to be associated with various different types of um, inconsistencies. I, I don't want to say inconsistencies. So the word I'm looking for is um, uh, I'm I'm blanking on it. <laughs> um, anyways, the, the the point I'm trying to make here is that topology is going to be very very important in helping us determine how we get from an initial to a final state. It's going to be really important in telling us the um, um, what the dynamics are going to look like. Okay. This is really what a topological field theory is. Okay. Now these field theories, oh, so, so it, and what I was trying to get at earlier is that suppose you had, um, let me get my eraser here. I'm going to erase this to make it look a little nicer. The word I was trying to get at here was, um, I, geez, I can't remember exactly what the word is, but the, the, the point here is that um, the topology, the holes, these holes are going to be associated with some kind of inconsistency in our material, perhaps a material or uh, in, in condensed matter physics. Um, a hole is typically associated with uh, some sort of um, uh, uh, some sort of state that can't be accessed. Right? That's a that's a way of that's a way of thinking about this. A state that is not that can't be accessed. So state uh, that cannot be accessed. Right, so all the states here can be accessed, and all the states here in brown can be accessed as well, with the exception of the hole. The holes cannot. Okay, and that, that that's where topology is going to reign supreme here. Now, topology is given to us in different ways, and differential forms are going to be one of those ways in doing that. Okay, we're going to go into differential forms. And all this kind of stuff. Now, transcendence theory. Just getting back to transcendence theory, really quick. What it's going to do is it's going to say, well, we know Maxwell's theory of electromagnetism, so we need to know Maxwell's theory, and we're also going to need to know some Yang Mills. Um, and once we know these guys, we'll get, we'll get a, a good grasp on this A mu, this four potential. And then this A, this four potential is going to, we can take, um, we can regard it as a differential, we can, it's a differential form, right? So, we 
because we're going to be able to say that the um, the exterior derivative of this thing is going to be our field string template, our tensor. We're going to be able to make this claim, but then we're going to be able to put this in an action. All right, so our action or, or fundamentally our Chern-Simmons theory is a proposed action. And the action is going to be F wedge product DA minus two thirds, uh, if I'm remembering this, A wedge, A wedge, A. And what this really is, it's, it's, it's really like, it's looking at the forest and saying, the dynamics that comes from the, this situation is fundamentally uh, given to us by uh, the number of trees in this forest, right? Not given to us by the path integrals. You, you could, we, we could develop a path integral formulation for this, but what Trent and Simmons did is they said, let's abandon that idea and let's take a look at the topological field or the, the topological invariants here that are going to, uh, and, and we think that this is going to tell us something about the dynamics, right? And so it's not too far fetched from an idea. It's just a different way of looking at things. Okay. Now, a lot of people will say, you know, turn theory is really difficult and it is really difficult. It's taken a while for me to understand some of these concepts as well. Uh, but I think um, you are going to get a lot out of this. What I will say is that it took a while for me to understand this. And I don't think I fully understand it um, yet in its entirety. Right? I'm still learning. I'm still in the learning process of this theory. And um, I think it's a super fascinating theory, but it's hard. Okay, It's, it's hard. Um, and so because it's super hard to understand... I am going to make this a little bit more of an expensive uh, playlist, right? So it's going to be on my Patreon. It's going to be in a different category. It's not going to be, it's bronze, silver, or gold. It's going to be in a platinum level, okay? And the platinum level is where you'll be able to understand a lot more nuanced, much higher level, and much higher, um, much higher detailed I won't say detailed, but much harder physics, right? So physics that we that you typically don't really come across on the internet or in classes. Um, and because it's so hard, I feel like I just have to make it a little bit more expensive because I put so much energy into into trying to understand these and uh, uh, giving these theories out to you guys as well. So with that being said, this video, I didn't really plan for this video to be too long, but... Um, this is going to be my, uh, this is going to be a playlist on Trent Simmons theory. And on the side, we'll also be, we'll be focusing on everything else that I'm doing, the statistical fields. Um, and, uh, I'm going to come back to general relativity. I'm going to, uh, we're going to be doing quantum field theory and all the rest. So I'm not going to quit any of those. Um, we are going to, I just want to get, my goal here is to learn and to help you guys learn as well, okay? And um, I am aiming to get uh, different content for different days of the week, okay? So, and I'm trying to get be consistent here. I'm trying to make uh, videos uh, so that you can access um, these as well. If you're looking for Trent Simmons here, you, you're, you're gonna have to wait a week. Every week it's gonna be a different lecture and it's gonna be on like Thursdays or something like that. Uh, statistical field theories, Wednesdays, um, quantum field theory, Fridays, and so forth. There might be days where there won't be any content being released because I, I don't know, I'm on break or something. Um, but generally, that's the aim here trying to get as much content out as possible. So, with that being said, I hope you guys like this kind of content. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.